Hey, we do get these beautiful birds coming down to have their lunch. And um, this restaurant has actually been running for the past 20 years. It is almost the same age as most of the vultures that we see here, because their lifespan is so good. They actually live up to about 20 years. And I'll be heading down there to lay the restaurant and get them come in, have their lunch. But in the process, I'll lead you to get your cameras ready because the times, as you do see, they are already waiting. They might start feeding before I even leave the restaurant. <laughs> all right. So I want to say there's one photo that I'll ask for you all when we meet in the next world. Check for instance if you find vultures devouring me. Sorry. I'll get a number of good photos from you guys. All right. So let me then get down there. Get the restaurant ready. All right. He doesn't want, he doesn't have to wear special gear for that, though. Oh, mm. They're scared of him. Feeding on the vultures. It's like both beds in the end. You feel it, though. I'll try to come and get some chips from you. Some like a lamb ribs. Where is this meat coming from? From uh, the um, you know the boma? Yes. They've got off cuts and from ah, the both okay. restaurants, yes. Yeah, so oh, all right. They've got the own little butcher, but they've got off cuts. Oh, God. But this is not, not enough for everyone. <laughs> but they get every day, so. It's be ready to run, yeah? When they want to, to attack when us. When they want more. Yeah. <laughs> They'll come for you. <laughs> they won't come for me. Mm. Oh, God. Is this not attracting things like lions as well? <laughs> wow, that big I stick. They do, yeah? Yeah, they do too. Look at this tall one, there's a tall one. There's someone tall. Look at it. <laughs> it's a taller one in the background. Scared. Look at that. Do a video. I don't want video. I'm doing a video. <coughs> These are the ones that are not vultures now. <coughs> How far do they come from? How far? Take pictures, take pictures, videos. Go, 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 don't stop. It's gonna be overseas. The piranhas of the bush. Yeah, <laughs> no, not long like a bird and bacon like a marabou. Oh. Oh. Stop. They are not vultures, but when it comes to the yes, they do join the vultures. And uh, two vulture species you're looking at down there. The small pink headed ones are hooded vultures. The bigger ones with their short big black beaks, white bed vultures. So one other thing to note is that when the bigger bed go into those strands, the smaller ones really can't. And they do not have the strength to push and shove. But the bigger guys have the only way they will obtain the food. Follow behind the giant. Picking those little bits. Look, look at the pulling in. <laughs> wow, look at those three in there. They are oh. in a tug of force. The tall ones are in trouble, man, now because they can't bend their legs to go to the meat. Ah. the first. Ah. Activity that is best too. Finish. Well, 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 there's a question here. She says, what did I feed them off? There's one guest who refused to send his account last night. So. <laughs> well, there's just left over meat from the, the restaurant. You have the trimmings, the furs, and all that stuff that the chefs cannot use. This is what I bring down here for this bed to have it as well. But why do we have to feed them then? Is it because they do not have enough food out in the world? Not really, this bed to get enough food out in the no, world. No, tourist attraction, is was their population that has been tingling year in, year out. And with that, studies were carried out to ascertain the reason why this population has been going down. Mankind has actually found to lead the least. And how do we then lead that least? We do build such big hotels as this one here, 
And most of them were done in areas where people hadn't checked which creatures live there. We do them in taking over, nest inside. This is a bed that lays up to three eggs. And only one will want it to be. Ah, 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 any movement that you do towards them, they will fly. All right. And once you take off their nest inside, as it is a bird that has a single chick per year, and that means that for that year, if all these birds down here were to, to have a baby, they won't. That affects their population. And how about after construction such big nodes, you need to power them because you're actually going to be buying those you, those gadgets that need electricity, which then means you have to draw those electric lines. These are big birds, wide wingspan, depending on earth animals to soar around. By the time they see that line, they cannot easily turn back, and most of them have smashed onto those lines and got electrocuted. Yeah. That yeah. also affects their population. Yeah. The farmers, on the other hand, when he wakes up early in the morning to check on his cattle, finding one or two having been killed by a predator, to him, it's a great loss. And the first thing he thinks of is how to get rid of that predator. But how does he go about that? He tends to poison that carcass, hoping the predator will come finish up its kill at night. But who comes first during the day? The vultures. Mm. Meaning that if all these birds were to feed on that poisoned carcass, all these would be dead by now. That also affects their population. And looking at the poachers, on the other hand, He's out there in the wild hunting this elephant. He's found one shot, killed it. But in the process of extracting the task, these birds will get spotted. The will then start circling. But if there's a national park ranger nearby, what does he think of? What have these birds seen? Let me go check. Only to find a poacher at work who then gets shot. Now the poachers have turned around to say, we came through here at night and no one had seen us. And how did this poacher, how did this national park ranger find us? The vouchers. And now what they then do, after extracting the tars, they poison that carcass, hoping these birds will come feed in their numbers and die so much that in the near future hunt, they won't have as many spices as they would have had. That also affects their population. Now getting a closer look at the bigger ones, the white bear vultures. That beak is really short, strong, sharp, hooked, and designed to cut big 